So glad you're here. On Wednesday, Agatha All Along is coming out, so I thought it would be fun to make an Agatha Harkness inspired dress. I am super far behind on all of the Marvel series. The last one I watched was WandaVision. I have been meaning to watch all of them because I used to be a big Marvel fan, then my interest just kind of waned. But I really did like WandaVision. I thought it was really fun. It was not at all what I was expecting. Of course, I don't know what I was expecting. I love all things witchy, so I'm very excited to see what they do with this new series on Agatha. I thought she was a fun character in WandaVision. I don't know anything about the character in the comic books or anything like that. When I first saw the trailer for this new series, I was really surprised. I didn't know it was for this. It came up as an ad on YouTube and I wasn't like fully looking at the screen. So when it was Katherine Hahn, I was like, oh, I like Katherine Hahn. And it looked like a new crime drama. And it turned out it was Agatha all along. And the design of the dress I want to make is based off of her and the design I want to make for this dress is based off of her look toward the end of the series, her blue purple robe moment. I like to mainly use thrifted materials if I can help it. And very unlike my usual way of doing things, as I went through the cosplay fabric aisle of the fabric store, I saw this and it looks so cool changes color. And because it was on sale and I had recently been paid, I decided to get some fancy fabric for this project because it it's just too cool not to try it. And I think it'll be perfect for an Agatha Harkness inspired dress. I also purchased this quilting cotton. I think the painted effect looks kind of cool. So my idea to use these two fabrics is this. I don't want to go full cosplay, so I would like these to be wearable outside of this, which means that it might be a little plain separately, but hopefully together it will read Agatha Harkness. So my idea is a plain dress made out of the blue cotton, and it's gonna have to be pretty simple because I only have two yards of it. I thought I had purchased three, but honestly, every time I get to the cutting counter at the craft store, I freak out a little bit because I don't know what I need more often than not because I don't know what I'm doing. And I think using thrifted sheets has spoiled me because I now measure things in sheet sizes. I know a twin will get me at least a full circle skirt and maybe a short sleeved top. I know anything larger than that will definitely get me a full dress. Do I know the yardage of those things? No. So I did my best guesstimation and I only got two yards. And I think to make a full circle skirt for this, to, for me, I would have needed three at the very least. But I think it'll be enough to make at least a simple little dress, a sleeveless dress, because the sleeves are gonna be made out of this material that I thrifted. It's a really cool kind of sparkly netting. I also have that same texture fabric, but in purple, that I might do a layering effect to make some longer sleeves to attach to the dress. Although that might make it a little more costumey than I want it to be. Eh, we'll see. But the plain dress will be okay because I wanna make a kind of overdress that is open in the front, almost like a robe out of this material with long flowing sleeves and just kind of thrown over anything. And hopefully after this, that will become a Halloween staple of mine. I have one pattern for a type of duster thing, but it is very long and involves tiers that I definitely don't have the yardage for. But right now my plan is to use a pattern that I already have that I can just slightly modify to mimic the shape of a cape pattern and see if that will work. Now, I am gonna test this out. Even though I really only have two days that I'm allowing myself to do this, maybe three if I'm pushing it and I need it, but I am gonna have to test it out because I bought fancy fabric for once and now I'm incredibly nervous to cut into it. Oh boy. So let's go make and test the pattern.
is okay. I think it makes a cute, what is this called? Duster? I feel like a duster has to hit the floor. It makes a cute, uh, whatever this is, but it's not quite the silhouette that I want it to be for this. I kind of wanted it to be a little more fitted around the bodice and the version I have right now is a bit too loose. And I think that's because that doesn't really have any shape. The sleeves are awesome. I think they're big and dramatic and I love a dramatic sleeve. The armholes are a bit strained. Whenever I raise my arms, it pulls up the sides. So I think that'll be an easy fix. It's just making the armholes just a tiny bit bigger. And I think if I'm going to try this again, I originally wanted the bottom of this to be a little more voluminous than the dress, especially because the dress is not going to be very voluminous at all. So I think I'm going to add an extra bit of volume to the overlay. But to experiment a little bit more that means I have to do another test run but for now I'm gonna call it a night and we will do another test run tomorrow and probably make the dress so I'll see you then my love my love what are you doing what are you gonna help me hello it's the next day I have a little pearl on my lap I'm gonna start things off today with doing another test run of the overlay dress because I don't trust myself to just experiment with the fancy fabric because I really cannot go out and get more. So let's go see if we can figure that out. So this test run, test, test run, test run, not test one. This test run went, this test run went, <laughs> run, run. This test run went really well. Adding the extra volume to the pieces on the bottom worked. I love it. The uh, sleeves on this one are a bit smaller because of the piece of fabric that I had, but again, that's not gonna be an issue with the real fabric because I'll have enough. In the end, I didn't really need to change the pattern for the top because it, they ended up being so similar. Really, the only difference was the shoulder piece and the fact that it just comes straight down. So I didn't really need to change the top. Also because when it still didn't have the shape I wanted, I just added some darts to make the shape on the dress form. The only thing I didn't fix though is the armholes. So I'm gonna get rid of the dropped shoulder, bring it up, add a little bit more to the top of the sleeve, and hopefully that uh, problem will be fixed. I also don't think it'll be as big of a problem with the real fabric because it's got more of a stretch to it than this does. We're not gonna get to making the real one just yet though. I need to make the underdress first. And I don't know if maybe I did the darts wrong and I took it in too much. For some reason, it is just too small to be comfortable. I can put it on, but it is not a pleasant experience. And it is far too short for what I wanted it to be. I didn't want this to be like a full length skirt by any means, but I did want it to be longer than it is right now. And I don't like it. <laughs> I don't, I just don't, I just don't like it. It's cute on its own. Without the overlay dress, it is kind of giving like 2012 galaxy print, which I was all about, but um, I want to redo it. I really didn't think I would have this big of an issue with the dress. I've used all these patterns before. I've done all of this before, but for some reason it just doesn't work. And the problem is I have a lot of fabric in my fabric stash. Not a lot of it can be used for this. And the ones that maybe could are already being saved for a specific future project. So I might have to go to the thrift store tomorrow and see if I can find anything that might look fun for this because there's absolutely none of this mottled blue fabric left, like two scraps, that's about it. So I'm gonna try to go to the thrift store tomorrow, but if I cannot go to the thrift store 
tomorrow, I am going to have to sacrifice one of my future projects for the sake of completing this one. But it's okay, I'll figure it out. I'll make it work somehow with something. I wish I knew what that something was, but I don't. So we're gonna figure it out. So I'll check in with you tomorrow and tell you where we're at and hopefully I'll have my stuff figured out. Hello, it's the next day. So I'm starting over. I did go to the thrift store today. They had a lot of great fabrics. None of them were blue or purple or black, but luckily I looked on the end of the aisle where they sometimes have just random things put on this shelf and I was able to find this. This is a brand new king size bed sheet set. Do you have... I'm assuming this means the fitted, the flat, and perhaps a pillowcase or two, usually two. It's like a, a dark teal color. And since it was the only thing that could even remotely fit this project, I grabbed it. When I came in to get to work, I sat down and redesigned my Agatha inspired dress. Still not going full cosplay, because I still don't have enough of the fancy fabric to do that. But the redesign is taking elements from the old one, just reworking it in a different, hopefully much better, way. <laughs> this is what I came up with. Again, very plain dress underneath made out of the sheets. And now that I have such a big sheet set I'm working with, I can make it longer and add a bit more volume to it. And I'm even doing the overlay dress differently now that I've done the redesign. Which brings me to the point that I am just going to basically use dress patterns that I've used several times, which means that most of the pattern drafting I spent the last two days drawing and testing it's not going to be used anymore. Wah, wah, wah. Will you cut that out? But it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Maybe if I say it's fine enough times, I'll believe that the last two days were not a waste of time. I don't think it's gonna work. I have to remind myself it's just time spent that isn't going to be helpful for this project, but is for future projects because now I have a new pattern. And in the testing of that pattern, I made two new garments for myself. So I have to see the bright side. I'm going to get to work because I am already well over my cutoff date to work on this project. Let's go make it work. back on track. <laughs> the dress is, well, I guess basically done. I have to put some hook and eyes on the sleeve cuffs, but other than that, the dress is done. There were a few issues with it. It had different fit issues this time around. It was way too big on the shoulders, just too small around the waist. I'm not really sure what I've been doing wrong with this pattern. I took the darts out of the back to let it out a little bit. That seemed to fix the issue, so maybe I'm doing the darts wrong. Point is, it's fixed and it's functional enough for now. That's what I'll say. It's functional enough for now. So tomorrow I'll do the fancy fabric dress overlay and uh, the accessories. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, it's the next day. And I came in today to find yet another picture gone from the wall. Yeah. Anyway, it's time to make the overlay dress and get that out of the way. I kind of was playing around with it last night on the dress form and the good news is it doesn't seem to fray on the edges. So I don't think I'll have to zigzag stitch or overlock the edges of the pieces, which is really nice because that takes a while. So all I'll have to do is cut and sew it together without having to worry about protecting the edges. I'm really excited to see it all come together. I, I hope, I hope it does. And then once that's put together, we'll start on the accessories. So I'm just gonna get to work. just finished the overlay dress and it's so cool. I love 
this fabric. It looks so cool. I like the overlay dress a lot. I don't love how the underdress is looking right now. I might have to uh, fiddle with it a bit more, especially when they are paired together. It's just something is just not clicking for me. I'm gonna take some time away from the sewing for now and start making the accessories, which are a tree branch slash thorn thicket necklace made out of hot glue and her brooch, which I think I'm gonna make out of some EVA foam. Haven't decided how I'm gonna do it. <laughs> uh, bleh, what is that? It was just a fuzz. I'm gonna start on the brooch first because I will have to paint it. So I'm gonna build it, sculpt it, carve it, paint it. And then while it's drying, I'll work on the necklace. And then hopefully by the time I'm done with the necklace, the brooch will be dry and everything will be fine. I still don't have a pin. I cannot believe it didn't occur to me until just now that I don't have a pin. I'll just sacrifice a pin I already have. It's fine. I'm gonna start on the brooch. just finished the necklace and honestly it's one of the coolest necklaces I've ever made in my life. The brooch still has to dry and I have to put the pin backing on which I'm just going to sandwich the backing between the brooch and a piece of felt with some hot glue. I almost wanted to make some gloves that look like her fingers were you know when she gets her little magic fingers but I forgot to look for some nylons at the store to make myself a pair of gloves which I've also never done before so it probably wouldn't have worked very well. So I'm not gonna do that this time around. For now, everything is done, so it's time for the reveal. was a much more wild ride than I was expecting. <laughs> My plans for this seemed so straightforward. I thought this thing was going to be the biggest challenge I would face with this make. Who's been messing up everything? Me. It's me. I messed up everything. But I fixed it, so that's all that matters. I wasted two days doing mock-ups for a pattern that I drafted that I didn't even end up using. I can't be mad about it though because it looks good and I like it and I'm and I'm and I'm happy with the end result. Hindsight is 2020 and I have um, needed glasses the entire week. I actually have glasses. I just I um, never wear them. Overall, I'm really happy with everything. I love the overdress fabric. I like this overdress a lot. I think I'm gonna wear it quite a bit. The dress underneath has a few issues still. It's still a bit too big. It was small and then it was just too small and then it was just right and then it was too big. I don't, I, it's way more low cut than I wanted it to be. I, I just wanted a normal V, but in bringing the fabric together and taking it in a bit, it ended up being super low cut, which is fine. You can always play around with it some other time to fix it. The sleeves, I think, should have had another clasp but I didn't put one on. So that's something I can always add when I play around with it in the future. Otherwise, I really do like the shape of the sleeves and the V was supposed to be reminiscent of her dress in the show without the lace because I wanted to make this cool necklace to imitate the lace and I think it worked out really well. It's very stinky because it's hot glue, but it looks really cool really cool. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to wear it, but it is a pretty darn cool piece to have. Making the pin was interesting. I couldn't find a lot of my old pins. I managed to find one, but I cannot for the life of me find the box with all of the backings, so I had to just do foam and hot glue to make a backing. And it worked! 
it stayed. <laughs> but um, also I filled in the middle with some hot glue, crystal clear hot glue. And I tried to get all of the black hot glue out before I did that, but it just seemed to keep on coming. It ended up swirling in with the crystal clear stuff, which obscured the image just a little bit, but it actually did put like ink and water kind of looking stuff in it, which kind of reminds me of her powers. It works well enough to know that it's her brooch, but uh, I think it's a pretty cool piece also to come out of this. I did try at the very last minute to make some gloves that look like her powers are being used. I didn't end up using them because because I didn't think they looked good. They're okay. I couldn't get the color gradient to really be more concentrated at the tips of my fingers, and so it just kind of looks weird, plus I got some on the palm on both of them. So I didn't end up using them for the reveal also because um, they're still not fully dry. So magic finger gloves are going to be something I'm gonna have to try in the future. Didn't work out for this. But for everything going wrong <laughs> to start, I think everything looks really good. Maybe I'll be able to style the dress to be more wearable. Uh, this thing will definitely be wearable, I or I'll wear wear it, which will make it wearable. Thanks for sticking through to the end. If you like how everything turned out, you can let me know by hitting the like button. And if you want to join the channel and see what I'm doing next, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to know when I post, hit the no no I don't murder her. And if you want to know when I post, hit the notification bell and YouTube will let you know. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!